everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for watching my video today. It truly means a lot to me. I know I am very close to getting 6,000 subscribers. I still don't believe it, but it is happening and I have been buying all kinds of gifts so that I can do a big giveaway when I reach 6,000. So it's coming up soon and I can't wait to give back to all of you. So I also want to say, if you have been here for a long time, you might remember my daughter, um, she painted, okay, sorry, cut, okay. If you've been here for a long time, you might remember that I used to have these fake acorns in a round wooden dish that had a little lip that my daughter painted to go with the fall theme of the acorns. And I always put that in my videos. And she was younger and she's like, Mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint this dish for you so you can put acorns in there for a decoration. So this makes me think of her and makes me smile. So I decided to put them in this cute little fall truck. So anyway, I thought that'd be a neat little decoration to add for today. So we are going to be starting by stuffing letter bucks. So if you don't know what letter bucks, bucks are, go to the description of this video and it explains it in the description box and it explains the letters I'm saving and why. So you can get that info there, but we're gonna try to make this video as short as possible because I have a lot going on today and I'm waiting for a doctor to call me back. And right now my phone's on do not disturb. So we're gonna get right into letter bucks and I'm gonna go ahead, I have them here already sorted and we're gonna start with the letter A. So we're gonna go in order of the alphabet. So actually I might just move that, that direction so you guys can see, but this is where I put them and we don't count them. So we're gonna count them when the year is over. So I just wanna thank you all too for all your sweet comments. I haven't read them all, but I was having a, a, hard, a really hard time and then I mentioned it in the last video and a bunch of you messaged me and left sweet comments and things like that. So again, I haven't read them all or responded, but I will. And also yesterday went a lot worse. Yesterday was one of the worst days in like five years. It was terrible, but today I'm doing okay. And I have a lot to be grateful for. So I'm focusing on that. So let's count. We don't have that many A's. So let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven A's, a, a box. And there's the A right there. We're saving these for my daughter, Addie. And also remember that I did finally do this last month. So this is just one month's worth of letter bucks. So that's why it's not as many as last time. So that is done. The next letter we save, okay, I'm just going to move the truck because you guys need to see this. We save D for Diego. So that's exciting. We have a bunch and I'm going to go ahead and have Matt speed up the rest of these as I do them. So you guys don't have to sit through it all, but, um, let me go ahead and start. So I'll show you, I'll do it this way so you can see the Ds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. So 23 D bucks. And this is a really big pouch. They're kind of all swimming in there, but we are gonna fill it as much as we can. So that is for Diego. And then we go to E bucks. E is for my my proper name or my full name is Elizabeth and starts with an E. And I want to use these for shopping on Etsy next year. So there you go. So, oh, no, 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 we're not counting those. No, 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 we're counting these. So there's just a few. So I'll count with you guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 10 E bucks. Of course, there's an airplane going by. If you save any letter bucks, I would love to know. Put down in the comments, if you save letter bucks, what letter bucks you're saving. I would love to know. That would be really cool to see what each other is saving. And let's keep going. Right now it is Friday and I do apologize that 
This video wasn't up this morning. I could not film it yesterday. Like I said, it was one of the worst days. I ended up at the doctor's for a long time and it was a very bad day health-wise, but I'm feeling better today. I also wanted to mention that one of my sweet friends um, that I hang out with all the time, he is saving, him and his wife are saving some of the, or he's saving some of the letter bucks for my family. So he gave me the ones that he had that I'm, I'm collecting. So that was super nice of him. Okay. So for G box, we're saving these for Matt. His middle name is Gary he starts with a G. So I'll have him speed up these next two while I count one, two, three, two, 23 and 24. So G box used to be super hard for me to find here. Clearly they're not anymore. I feel like I'm getting more G bucks than anything. So I don't know if we're just getting a lot of Taurus, 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 however you, <laughs> tortoise, however you pronounce it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. Once again, I'm filming and I don't know if it's an airplane or if that was the dart helicopter landing here, but we will find out soon because if it was a helicopter, it will take off in a little bit. So of course it happens again. I think it happened in the very last video or something and I'm in a rush. So of course that has to happen. But lastly, we have L box for my son since since his name is Max and they stop, it stops at L, they don't do M through Z or it's not a thing. We save L for his middle name, which is Logan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 L bucks. So here is his pouch. We all have different colors and different color letters. I love these so much. I'm so glad I got them. And I like that they're see-through. So these are getting nice and full, but we will be able to fit all of them in for the rest of the year. I'm convinced of that, but still pretty exciting. So I don't know what I'm doing. They usually zipper easily. Okay, so we're done counting letter bucks. Now we're going to go on to sinking funds. And I want to show you a couple of things. So if, if you're new here, then I'm not going to explain what sinking funds are. I did that, I believe last month. So you can check out that video, but I just want to give you an idea of what I do and how I prep for this video. So hopefully you can see this. Basically, these are my categories and I now decided to design them. I highlight the color. So in here, we in this blue one, we have these categories and then Again, if you're new and you haven't seen this yet, in the purple binder, I have these. And then for green, in this green binder, I have the green ones. So basically, this says the category and then previously, so before this video, when I was prepping, I went through and I wrote in all of the balances. So it's not the same as last month because I spent some in some of these categories, but I went ahead and said, what, it, what are the balance of all these categories right now? And then I put in what we're adding today. And we're adding $1,500 today, which I'm very thankful for. So this is how much we're adding to each category. We're not adding to all of them, but those just have zeros. And then after this video, or actually as of right now, this is the new balance in each category. And all of these come out to over $25,000. I can't even believe it. And yes, property taxes are bills. The sewer and water is a bill. But the rest of it's in Subaru registration. That's a bill. But that's it, you guys. So this is so exciting. And I should have shown you this one first. This is a spreadsheet where, and I have a formula set up. So I should have showed you this. But I put in the formula that this, that all of these categories I'm adding to today needs to equal the amount I'm putting in. So for today it was 1500. So I click on this box and I write, put in 1500 and that it already says minus this box, minus this box, minus this box. And so basically once I've spent every cent, this should say zero. And then I go ahead. So that's, I figure out how much I want to put in each one. And I kind of mess around with it a little bit. And then I decide what bills I need at the bank. So for sewer and water and property tax, I want the largest bills possible. I don't need small bills, small bills for that. I just need hundreds and fifties. So I actually put the quantity of each bill. I do that for every category. And then at the very end, 
I have a formula that adds up how many hundred dollar bills, how many fifties, and so on. And then I have for this down here, so like for hundred, this box would be equals eight times, or sorry, this box equals this box um, times 100, and that would be 800. So, and I won't do this every month either, but I just thought I'd show you this this month. So then over here, this equals all of these amounts added up and that should say 1500. So that number should here should equal the number you put into this formula before all the minuses or all the subtractions. So, and then I went ahead and these bills are all in the smallest denominations possible. So like a 100 and a 50, five 100s. And then once we get down to here, I need smaller bills for some of these categories. So when I'm doing the video, I have this out of sight where you can't see it, but I want my eyes to be able to quickly glance and see, oh, I need to grab 720s, 310s, and so on. So one more thing. I use a pad of paper that I bought from Nita. Actually, I didn't. I gave her the idea to do this a long time ago, a long, long time ago, and she made some and gifted them to me. I never bought them. And then I was just about to run out and I was about to buy some more. And these came as a free gift in my order from Lemon Ivy Budgets. So I'm gonna put it up really close because you, you may not be able to, it's pretty small writing, but there you go. So I go ahead and I transfer. So I have this in front of me and it says, so this says 100 quantity. I just look right in this box, it says eight. So I put eight and it says amount. I already know it's 800. So I just do that for 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s, and then total 1,500. So for this sheet of paper that I'm going to bring to my bank and hand to the teller, I'm just copying from this information here. So it just makes it so easy for me, and this is the way I do it. And I know some people, there are a few of you out there who don't know that I do this or what I do and are interested and have asked me to show it again. So there you go. I don't want to take up any more time on that. So I'm going to go ahead and prop this up behind me so I can see it. So just give me one second and nope, that's the wrong one. I need the one with the denominations. Okay. And we're going to start adding money into our binders. So let me go ahead and grab our first binder. Okay, you guys, I forgot before I grab the first binder, we need to grab the money. So I'm not going to count this all out for you guys. I'm, I'm going to try to make sure you can see it all though. Okay. So there we go. All this cash is going into these binders. And let's go ahead and start with our blue one. I always got confused. That's why I got the idea to highlight. And I am just going to move this truck because it's driving me crazy. You guys know I feel claustrophobic sometimes on here when I, you know what I mean. So I'm going to try to go through these quickly. So let me just say once again, I appreciate you all so much. And I without these videos, without you guys coming back here, cheering me on, things like that, holding me accountable, I would not have any of this money. I never even had money for my bills set aside when I had bills that were not monthly, when they were three months, six months, or 12 months. So this system works for me. So let's go ahead and start. So I have already written in today's, today is the 13th. We're adding 150. The balance is 450. And you can see on here, it says previously 300, adding 150, balances 450. So I was also, because I did the spreadsheet first, I was also able to just copy off the spreadsheet into these, and that made it a lot faster. So I did it a little different this month, and I love the way I did it. So I'm going to be keeping this turned this way, but you can double check. I already have it. You can double check down there that this is all correct. So I'm going to take the money that's in here, and we are adding 150. So I got a nice old... Oh, look, it has an A buck on it, or it has an A on it. Wow, that's so cool. So I don't know why, but they gave me a couple, two or three old hundreds today. But we're adding 150 to sewer and water. So now I'll count it, and we'll see what we get. So 1, 2, 50, 3, 50, 4, 50, and that does say 450. So I'm not going to point to that number every time, but again, I already know that these, these all are correct. Um, but yeah, so for property taxes, I'm putting 500. So let's see. 
I got eight out of the bank, so I'll put two back because I already used one. This should be five. So one, two, ooh, there's a J, three, four, and 500 for property taxes. We already got the bill, but it's not, it shouldn't be due till December. I'm so confused. I don't know, you guys. Um, and then we have, so we have 1500 in a bank account labeled property taxes, and then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So $2,000 set aside so far. Oh, you know what? I thought it was the property tax bill because I wasn't expecting anything bills from the town where I live in, but it was actually my son's motorcycle registration because his birthday is in October and where we live, car, car registration and motorcycle, everything's due in your birthday month. So that's what it was. Okay, I remember now. So for my Subaru, we're adding $31 like we do every month. And then at, because... We're saving $31. That will equal, if you multiply that by 12, that is what we owed last year. But since the it since the bill will go down every year, that means I'll have a little bit of money left over to, to have fun with. So I'm excited about that. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 78, 279. And then lastly, this used to be hearing aids. I've told you all that I didn't have to pay for them. I ended up getting them free through my insurance after all and after waiting so many months. And I told you I would have a folder made for our new category today, but keep the tracker. So boom, there it is. Little Miss would rather stay in bed. I thought that was so cute. I love the Little Miss and Little Mr. stuff, whatever. So currently we're saving for a sleep number bed or for something. And we're going to add $50 to it today. So I'm really excited about that. Is that right? Yes, we're adding 50. So we have 500 in the bank and now we have a total of $550. So I just used one of those craft paper, but it has kind of little flex in it. I don't know. It's really sturdy and I love it. So I told you I'd have that for this video. And I think that's it because that's the last one. So now we're going to go to my purple binder. We don't have a lot to fill in here, but oops, but let's see what's in here. So we have our, wait a second. Oh, you guys, I colored it wrong. I put emergency fund in blue, but this, it should have been in purple. Okay. I'll have to fix that. See, I make mistakes all the time. So this is our emergency fund and we, usually just add money to it through savings challenges that we finish. So in my last monthly, sorry, my last stuffing finished challenges video for the last month, we added $1,315 and we have $9,315. So my goal was to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. So I'm so excited about that. And then in our Roth IRA, we have $1,357, but we do have more money for it. It's just in challenges that are not finished yet. And then this next one is deductible. And this is for any of our vehicles or if our vehicles hit another one of our vehicles in the driveway. You know, we do have a teen driver, so we're about to have two So in the house. So anyway, let's go ahead and add $50. We've just been adding $50 every month and we're all the way up to $900. I am so excited. So we have 500 in the bank and then 650 seven, 50, eight, 50, 900. Sorry, my brain just totally paused for a moment there. Okay. So another reason I'm trying to go quickly is because I have a physical therapy appointment for my current neck pain after this. So, okay. So for travel, this account, this is because I've always wanted to go to Hawaii, but this account is for if Matt and I do a weekend trip or a three-day trip, which when we went to Maine for three nights, he insisted on paying for everything. Um, or if Matt and I go away on an airplane and do, we've never done that alone together without the kids. So if we go on some type of vacation or if we go away as a family again. So anyway, I want to have money to contribute or toward it. So we're adding $200 today, I believe. And it's these last two $100 bills. So that means we have 1000 we have 1500 in the bank and then 1600 1700 in travel 
So that is awesome. This next one is for girls trip. It's fully funded. I have $1,500 in the bank. This is for when Lindsay comes to visit. Lindsay is from Boy Mom Loves to Save and she is coming in October to see the foliage. I am so flippin' excited, I can't even tell you. Another reason why I'm trying to get my Etsy orders, I'm trying to work on that so hard and really focus on that so that I can take those three days off when she comes. Okay, so that's the end of this binder. We have one more binder and that is this one. And the rest of the money is going in here. So we're gonna start with post office and I am adding $200. I always end up using the money every month. I sent out a lot of happy mail last, last month, but I, I'm planning, I'm, I'm just being prepared in case I hit 6,000 subscribers this month and I end up, the time I end up actually mailing out all of the giveaways after I pick giveaway winners and all that. If it lands in this month, I wanna have the money. So, although I was talking um, I was chatting with Savannah from Sav Saves and she was telling me I needed absolutely to go to this website called Pirate Ship and ship through there. So anyway, and then I could just slap the labels on. So that would be nice. So I am going to do that. And let's see. So, but we're going to add 200. And when I go to my post office, they never have changed. So I, I want to get some smaller bills this time around. So we're going to do, let's see. Actually, let me start with the smaller bills. I think that would be better. And then, is this still recording? Yes, okay. Then they'll be in the order I want to count them to you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three tens. And then seven twenties. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. When I got my bills from the bank this morning, right before this video, the bills were not facing the right way. Tell me if your bank faces them. I am a little bit frustrated. I wish they would. Okay, so this should be $200. So let's see. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. So now when I go um, to the post office and mail stuff out, I will have change, which is great. Okay, so moving on, gifts is, we're gonna add $49 to that. So again, I'm looking on this spreadsheet and it says one, two, three, four, one, five, two, tens, and one, twenty. So let's see if that's 49. We don't have anything in here. So 20, 30, 45, six, seven, eight, and 49. And then hair, we're just gonna do 20. And I couldn't remember what to, oh my goodness. I couldn't remember what denominations we had. So um, I just went ahead and did some smaller ones. And let's see, what did we do? I already lost my place on here. So five ones, so one, two, three, four, five. And then a five and a, no, that wouldn't, yeah, and a five and a 10, okay. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh, I forgot we do have money in here. I'm sorry. I was supposed to add this together. Okay, so now I'll count it all. It should be 120. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's another reason why I like to fill these in before this video because I'm always mixing piles of money and things and getting confused. So it's nice to have that written down so you know what was in there to begin with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to children. I love this so much. Okay, and we're adding $50 because Max always needs money for something. And now he's filling out college applications. He's gonna apply to eight schools. I, I know that's not eight, I just, put my hand out. I don't know why. Okay. So he's going to apply to eight colleges, which I was shocked to hear, but I'm proud of him and I'm happy for him. And he's also going to apply early. So basically his girlfriend wants to go to a certain college and it's a wonderful school and he would be more than happy to go there. So she's applying like super early decision. So if she gets accepted, then he's going to, there's a second early decision. So he would then apply 
for the second early decision and see if he gets in. And if he does, he would go there. If he doesn't, he'll have seven other places he applied to. So it's getting exciting. Okay, so is this the envelope? Yes, so there's nothing in there. Yes, so for children, we're gonna do five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, one, and one. So we have 20, 35, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, and 50. I love the inside of this is paper clips. I love it. Okay. And then we have our little Diego man. So we're not, we don't add anything, but we have, we do need to take stuff out because he needs medications just like the, the not the generic. He needs um, like flea and tick and stuff like that. So um, he's down to 4,300, but I still think that's amazing that he has that much money and he's never had to work a day in his life. Okay. So we're not, we don't add to that in here in this video. So medical, I've been, I want to add to things like this. I'm really trying hard, you guys. So we're for medical, we are going to, add, oh, and I love this envelope so much. We're going to add $150 today. So we should have let me, let me, one, two, three, four, five. If I put that back, this should be 10. And let's see, I'm going to move that for a second. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, and five. So I do need to count this first before I put all the money together just to make sure. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 20, 130, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 150. Okay, I did have to make sure that was correct. Now I'm going to put it all together and see what the total is. And the reason why I'm putting smaller bills is that we have needed to pay for like copays and like for medications and we don't have change in this category. So what did I just do, you guys? We don't have, we didn't have change. So I was, I'm finding that for a lot of my categories, I just have a placeholder. Oh, never mind that on the back. And I don't have change. So it's frustrating because I have to swipe a credit card. I can't just use the cash. And so anyway, I decided we need some smaller bills in some of these categories. So for medical, we have 1,000 already in the bank. And then, so, and then, so 1,050, 1,070, Oh gosh. Okay. You know what? I, I'm not feeling that this week. So 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 11, 11, 20. That's fine. 11, 70, 11, 80, 11, 90, 1200, 12, 10, 12, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 12, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 30, 9. Okay. I made it through that, got it done, $12.39. And then for self-care, look how adorable that is. I spent so much time making these. And I just love them so much. I only, I don't see them very often. So I just wanted to look at it. And for self-care, I'm really trying hard to put some money in here. And to be honest with you, I want to get it up to a certain amount. And then I want to schedule Matt for a deep tissue massage of his back and neck because he has so many problems and he won't spend money on himself. So um, this is the last thing we're adding money to. So it must just be all these bills right here. So, I mean, that's an easy way to figure that one out. So put our little truck back. It's so cute. So I'm going to take out the money that's in here and we'll go ahead and count. So 50, 70, 85, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9. We have 100 in self-care. That is correct. That is the elegant look in here. Oh my gosh, I love this. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watch, watching. You guys, put cucumbers in the description box. No, you can't put stuff in the description box. Put a cucumber emoji in the comment box if you made it to the end of this movie. I hope you guys are all doing well and I love you all so much and I truly appreciate you. Have a great weekend. I'd love to hear what you're up to if you want to share and I will catch you on my Monday video. Thanks again. Bye.